It's our traverse. It's not very fast. That's actually pretty fast for what it is. There it is. I'm not gonna film this whole thing, but I might film it on the What is up guys, welcome to the channel. We got something very, very exciting coming right now. Um, it should be here any minute. You guys probably could tell by the title, man. Maybe maybe you couldn't, uh, if you guys can see the outline of it. Maybe you guys know. When they get here, I'm probably not gonna put them on the spot and video them. After they leave, we'll do a quick overview of what we got and uh, I'll go over everything, and kind of fill you guys in. There it is. I'm not gonna film this whole thing, but I might film them unloading it, so. If you're here from Bertrand, uh, we are actually gonna go deliver a toolbox right now. We're on the way there. We're about two hours away, two and a half maybe, uh, depending on how slow traffic is. guys so we just got here we delivered the toolbox finally and uh, we just want to get his opinion on what he thinks about all his new SP gear man first thing everything's built really well it seems like everything's here I mean this is everything I would use everything looks really well made you can just tell by just by holding it it's well made it looks awesome I can't wait to use it I really can't oh it looks awesome Alrighty guys, they just left. Check this out. And by they, I mean, boom, SP Tools. So I just had an opportunity a lifetime to work with this company. I've been dreaming of the day to work with a tool company and uh, this could not be a more perfect. This company is very new to the United States. They have a very good reputation in Australia. That's what they're really known for. Um, that's been their market for a long time. So they just moved to the United States also. And so they're kind of at ground level now. And uh, what a better opportunity than this. I can help them grow and uh, hopefully become a household name here in the United States. So they're like headquarters is literally three hours from me here in Panama City. And so it, it just worked out perfectly. And I want to say thank you to Rust Belt Mechanic for kind of putting in a good word for me, talking to them. He works with this company as well, and uh, he swears by them. He absolutely loves them. They got basically any tool you can think of, really. I mean, they got everything. And so um, I am unbelievably excited to work with this company. Let me go ahead and show you what we got, okay? You guys know I work on my own stuff. I like to do install videos, stuff like that, right? Um, they've been watching my channel. I felt like I would be a good candidate to work with them and uh, maybe help them grow, and maybe we could build an awesome you know, partnership. I'm not going to go over everything on it because we could be here all night. Go over a few things. Look at this. It's our little mini 3 8 drive. Got your little drill here. Got your bigger half inch impact here. Pry bar set. Before I get into this further, this is their Sumo toolkit. So this, this toolkit comes basically slam full of tools, okay? It actually comes with a uh, little cabinet that comes right there and another one goes right here. Uh, they'll be here next week. Yeah, we got the uh, the box here. Got another box in the bag. Got a few more tools I'm going to add to the collection there. Your wrench is here, quarter inch, all the way to 7 eighths, and then your 6 millimeter to 19. There's that. Half inch drive, 3 inch drive, quarter inch. Got breaker bars for each size. The ratchets for each size and sockets, of course. Big, big sockets up here, all the way up to inch and a quarter and 32. And then all the way down to a 13. And that's in your big half inch drive down to a 13. About everything, a nice little starter kit right here on this one, like a little mechanic set, I guess you could say. It comes with this really nice foam piece. Everything lays in there really nicely. Look at clarinet wrench here, gloves here, some shears. I'm not even getting into most of it really, guys. I mean, there's, a, there's so much more I could show you, but I don't want to drag this video on with me just talking, okay? Bigger wrenches here, 15 sixteenths here that goes up to inch and a quarter, 20 millimeter to 32. They don't just stop at 32, guys. They go huge. For what I'm doing, it's more than plenty. This toolbox is really nice. 
I really like this click lock setup. So it's got a little lighter here. See it locks, pull this, completely locks it. Of course, you got mini screwdrivers there. You got the wire brush piece there, and then you got a hacksaw there. So got a little bit of everything in this kit, guys. I could not be happier. Could not be more excited to work with this company. There's more. You're gonna mow the lawn now. I'm trying to sleep. I'm trying to take a nap right now. They're mowing the lawn. So speaking of SP Tools, we're about to go meet up with them real quick. I'm in some shots of their new truck. They're pretty close by right now, so we're about to head out on the Duramax. All right, we're heading out. They're actually at Publix right now. And we're gonna meet them there right now. We found it. They actually, they actually beat us here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and turn right here. See it over there in the back, probably. Look at that sucker. goodies right here box it's actually for the uh i was just talking about them in the video they're for my uh my toolbox through the end cabinets on there shout out to epic wraps here in panama city they just got done wrapping that truck it looks incredible they did an amazing job on that thing and uh man i'm telling you it looks so good they did it their prices are unbelievable here in panama city i'm not just saying that and you know i'm not sponsored by them in any way they are un unbelievable. It's hard to beat their prices, especially for the quality of their work. It's it's ridiculous. I'm gonna try to get them going by. See them right there in the old mirror. Take to put these on. I think it's like two bolts just to mount them back up to the toolbox. So uh, that's going to be really easy to do. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys once I get back. So see you guys back at the house. We're back home. Here's the SP tool cabinets that I had in the bed of my truck. Hang up on the side of the toolbox. Really easy. That's all you do. There's no bolts, nothing like that. So it just sits perfectly like that. Really nicely made. A lot of storage in there. You've got a key so you can lock it. It's all magnet right there. So closures of the magnet. Here is the non-marring impact set. This is what I really wanted because as you guys know, you use chrome and all that stuff on your, your wheels to pull your lugs off. You know, you could damage the socket itself and also damage the wheel. So these are non-marring, so they got plastic outer edges. So like you don't mar up your wheels and ruin them. So this is a must, I think. If you're gonna do a lot of work yourself on your vehicles, change wheels out, I think this is a must have. Of course, yeah, here's the other side, same as the other one. A lot more extra space. Yep, that's my toolbox. Oh, one more thing. These lights right here are unbelievable. They are wireless charging. You also charge your phone on this. I can't do any charging. Yeah, as you guys see, it's super bright. Very nice. These pivot and everything. There's a magnet on the bottom of them. There's also a hook on the top of them. So you can basically put them anywhere. That's my toolbox tour for now. I'm gonna be going over more stuff in the future, but uh, yeah, that's what we got going for right now, guys. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I say thank you to everyone that watched. All my subscribers, thank you guys so much. If you guys are interested in Duramax stuff, Corvette stuff, Cummins stuff, then I'd highly recommend you consider subscribing. I do a lot of my own work here, just in my driveway here in the garage. So if you enjoy kind of the hands-on type of channel, then uh, you're in the right place. So uh, yeah, the Duramax is still in the process of being built, which it looks pretty built from here, but um, there's always something to do. And uh, I also have a new clothing brand dropping here shortly within the next couple weeks. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But uh, I'm going to be taking the ZR1 out here in a second. I'm going to go run some errands. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.